Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome if you're watching on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority, JCAA, has released its report into the deadly November 10, 2016 plane crash in, in Greenwich Town, St. Andrew, which led to the death of three passengers. The report uncovered a number of safety breaches on the part of the Caribbean Aviation Training Center, CATC, which operate the plane. Dashan Hendricks tells us more in this report. The findings published by the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority, JCAA, revealed that the engine which was installed on the ill-fated aircraft did not conform to its type design and there were other discrepancies which did not make it airworthy. Among other things, it said the engine's camshaft showed signs of extreme wear and corrosion. The Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority, which carried out the investigation, said in the report that despite numerous requests, the Caribbean Aviation Training Center was on unable to provide a copy of the authorized release certificates for the engine and the propeller, which were reported to have been overhauled. The flight training school was also unable to provide a copy of the work order of the repair station where the engine was overhauled. Investigators say when the repair station identified in the maintenance entry was contacted in order to obtain a copy of the work order, it reported that the maintenance entry was forged and it did not have any information regarding the engine of the plane which crashed. In addition, two management positions at the Caribbean Aviation Training Center were vacant at the time of the accident, namely Chief Flight Instructor and Maintenance Coordinator. In addition, two management positions required by the Civil Aviation Regulations, the Quality Assurance Manager and Assistant Chief Flight Instructor were not listed on the company's air training organization manual. It was also found that the maintenance program for the Caribbean Aviation Training Center used to maintain the aircraft was not approved in keeping with civil aviation regulations. The airworthiness directive records presented by the company for the ill-fated aircraft were also incomplete. Not all reported aircraft defects were being recorded in the aircraft technical logbook and there were service checks which were done on the aircraft for which no documents were available. 31-year-old Jonathan Wharton, a flight instructor of Boone Hall Road, Stony Hill, St. Andrew, and 19-year-old Dan Shear Gilmore of Ocean Hill, St. Anne, were killed when the small fixed-wing aircraft developed mechanical problems and crashed in a house in Greenwich Town, St. Andrew, shortly after takeoff from the Tinsipen Aerodrome. A third passenger in the plane, 18-year-old St. Mary resident Ramon Forbes, died a day later. Dashan Hendricks, TVJ News.